Hello, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and today we're going to fry up some squash and zucchini here. And there's a little twist on it here I hadn't never seen anybody do before. Not long ago, we tried some of this uh, Louisiana fish fry seafood breading here, and it was so good on that fish. I'm going to try it on this zucchini and uh, squash and see how it is. I'll bet you it's going to be good. So, Let's get started with it. Go ahead and wash the squash off here. Lay it over here on this paper towel. Do the same thing as the zucchini. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is just go cut the ends off of this. So I don't really need a cutting board to do that because it's just, you know, like that. So you're not going to hurt your counter or anything. Shouldn't let on a paper towel. Don't get too carried away with it. Just like that. Do the same thing to your squash. Although if Kay was here now, she might have a different opinion on that. She'd say, "Hey, get that stuff on a cutting board." Okay, now I've got my gauge here set on my KitchenAid uh, mandolin here at a quarter of an inch because I want them to all be sort of uniform so they'll fry up about the same amount of time, you know, because if you don't, some of them's going to be real crispy and some of them not going to be crispy at all. So that's the first thing I want to do is make, make sure that's a uniform cut as much as you can, you know, so. And then... I'm just going to come over here and start. Oh, let me widen that out just a little bit so you can see better. Just start slicing it down just like that. And see with this thing, when you're doing them like that, you're getting every one of them just about the same thickness, you know. And so we just keep on throwing them like this. And be. And let me tell you now, this thing will do your finger just like it does <laughs> that squash. So. Beware. And then, see, I'll do just about the same thing. And it slings them sometimes. You got them all over the place, see. And now we're going to get our zucchini down here. And we're going to do the same thing with it. Close enough. <laughs> okay. Now, now look at what a beautiful plate we got. That looks like a snack. Mm-hmm. So it is. Okay, now I'll put four heaping tablespoons, those tablespoons, and of this in this bag here. Now I'm going to put, start putting some of the squash and zucchini in here. It doesn't matter which one, just go ahead and put, put them in there and mix them up. I'm sure I'm going to have to do this at least one more time. Uh, let's put some helper down in here. Now do this to your own taste because everybody's not alike and since there's nobody going to be eating this but me, I like it a little peppery so put some extra pepper in there. I 
think it'll take a few more than that. Let's try that. Let's see what it'll do up here. Sure you separate them now because if we're stuck together they can't get any bread in them between them. Okay now you really got to let that set for a few minutes if you don't. It's not going to be near as good so just let it set for about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, now this has been set for about 20 minutes, and we'll start putting them in this Ninja Foodie here. And like I said, now I've got the bottom of that uh, sprayed down pretty good with olive oil. I'll tell you why in a minute. And we're just going to start placing them in there and get just as many in there as we can. If I can find one more little guy to go down in here. There you go. Now. Now I've got that, I'm going to take my olive oil again here and spray just lightly on top of these. Just like that. Okay, now the reason I sprayed the bottom of that uh, crisper basket is this Ninja Foodie here, it will heat from the, it circulates that heat so the heat will be coming up from the bottom also. And so I'm hoping, and I'm going to check in a couple of seconds or minutes and see, but I'm hoping it's going to go ahead and brown the bottom just like it does the top, or that's the way it usually does. And, and the other way to do it is, if you wanted to, if you don't want to clean up any mess at all, just put you a piece of uh, crisper or air fryer uh, parchment paper in the bottom of it, put them on top that way you definitely go have to turn them over this way I don't think I'm even gonna have to flip them so let's get it turned on and get it going here all right now we'll shut the lid and then we'll turn on the power we'll hit air crisp right here we'll go ahead and run it up to 400 degrees and we'll put 10 minutes on it Okay, then we'll hit the start button. And then we'll be back when we've got about five minutes on it just to check and see uh, how it's looking and see if it does look like it's going to need flipping over. But like I say, I really don't think it will, but we'll look and see in a minute. Okay, now we're coming up on about five minutes. We'll take a look at it and see here. Well, I've got a chance. Thank y'all very much, all you people that watches our videos. We sure do appreciate it. All right, let's take a look. No, I've got a ways to go. It ain't started yet. Let me let you see over here. So, it's starting to get a little brown, but it's got a ways to go. So, turn it back on, or just shut the lid. All you got to do is shut the lid and it starts right back up. Okay, now I added another five minutes to these, make them look a little more crispy here. I hope you can see those. I'm fixing to take them out. I just want to see, show you how they looked in the pan. <clears throat> now we'll come over here and we'll start. To, uh, I get my camera right here. We'll start setting them on this plate here with this paper towel on it. And see they're browning on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to spray a little more oil down in there for this next batch here. And you got to remember now on these, this this uh, ninja food is preheated. And when it's preheated, it's a whole different animal. So. And 
and it'll burn your finger if you touch it to it too. Hmm. Let's see if I can find me a little one going up a little hole there. Close. Now, we'll shut the lid. Turn on the power. Get the air crisp. Go to 400 and go to 10 minutes and hit start. Now, let's see how good and crispy these are. Then I can pick one up. So see, that looks great. And you, it's nice crispy on the outside. And it's really tender and good on the inside. Hmm. Time this next batch is done, I'll have these eat. <laughs> okay, now I forgot to spray the top of them with oil. <clears throat> so let me go back and just give them a little squirt here. It just helps them brown. Now. Okay, now we're down under <clears throat> 15 seconds on this second batch here. And it makes a whole lot of difference when your uh, pot's preheated, so you might want to preheat it. Save your lot. You can preheat it while you're getting them ready. Because I had to put about another five minutes on that first batch, which made it 15. These here, I just look, and it's <laughs> just 10, and now they're done. So, thanks for watching our little video, and we enjoyed making it. And and I hope you'll come back and see us real soon. See how that thing is brown there. Starting on both sides. It's good. You don't want it too much. You don't want to burn them up. So anyway, thanks again for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. I hope you'll come back and see us real soon. And until then, y'all have a real good and safe day. And we'll see you later now. Goodbye.